Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to unbox and review the new Tusa Paragon mask. And I'm super excited to be able to review and unbox this with you guys today, because I've been looking at this unit for quite a long time. I've been reading all the reviews and all the manufacturer's specs about it before they launched it, and I'm super excited that it's here. So let's open it up to see what's going on, and I can discuss all these amazing features of this pretty cool Tusa mask. So first thing, uh, comes in this really awesome Tusa box, really big Tusa box, and we're going to hang onto this box, we're not going to throw it away, and that'll become obvious soon. So I'm just going to pop that guy out the way, this actually going to pull out the way over here, and we're going to put out the way, so this we're going to look after. Okay, over here we have a bit of plastic, don't need that. Here's the mask itself, which is quite cool. But before I jump onto the mask, I'm just gonna run through some of the other stuff that comes with the, this little funky holder over here. It just goes through all the benefits that this particular mask has. And if I open it up, you see it comes with a, a set of instruction manuals and a care guide. Important this time to read this care guide. Instruction manual, there. I read that earlier. But this one, just give it a quick little read. The reason being that this mask is the new Paragon mask. So it's UV coated with this really, really awesome anti-reflective stuff. So it's almost like a pair of sunglasses. So you just want to make sure that you look after this mask. There's certain solvents that you can't clean it with. When you're finished, you want to stow it away in the mask box afterwards so it doesn't get scratched. So let's just go through the benefits of it and they're all written down here. So I'm gonna use this as my little cue card to run through all the stuff it comes with. Obviously, it comes with the, it's the Tusa Freedom Par uh, Paragon mask. So it comes with the standard Freedom technology, meaning that it's got this really awesome skirt. So you can see it is a rounded skirt, so it comes quite round the back of your face there. And it's a bit hard to see on the camera, but it has these really cool dimples or golf ball type uh, notches on the sides of your cheeks and around the top of your mask. And that allows the skirt itself to have a lot of rigidity, also a lot of movement as you go deeper. Um, as the water pressure pushes against you, if you're not equalizing your mask, the mask will hold its shape really, really well. So it's quite a well reinforced uh, skirt that it's got there. It has uh, what they call, I'm going to keep referring back, the Trimix frame meaning that the frame is made up of three individual pieces so you've got the front inlet black section over there which holds the lens in place you've got this really funky alloy silver um, midsection which holds the outside of the frame itself and then you've got this really funky black and red in this particular color um, outer frame to protect it from scratching etc but that just sort of holds it all together so it's a really really solid solid frame that you've got on the mask the nose pocket it's a standard nose pocket. It's not super soft, so you do need to pinch it, give it a good, good, uh, a good pinch to uh, swim down with it. One of the things I've noticed in the testing of this mask is the skirt is quite big, so it's for quite a large face or standard face. It wouldn't be for a narrow face. So my wife, in particular, tried this mask and found that it was uh, leaking because she's got quite a narrow face. I tried it and saw that it worked really, really well, but ideal for an adult with a slightly larger face. So that's just as far as fits concerned. And the nose pocket over there, the strap um, comes with what they refer to as their quick adjust system and their round edge skirt and their 3D mask strap. Meaning that this section over here is 3D that it goes over the back of the crown of your head but it is Tusa's standard mask strap is available on a lot of their masks. It's got the quick adjust system or the buckle adjust. You just push the two buttons in and that loosens and tightens it. Quite easy underwater. It's quite easy for you to do that. And it's uh, attached to the silicone of the mask itself. So depending how you position the mask, the, the skirt of the mask will adjust for it because inside here it's got these little clicks you can hear me clicking it up and down so you can adjust that now depending whether you put the strap higher or lower so that takes care of the um strap the adjustment the skirts and the frame onto the lens itself they refer to this lens as a uv 420 lens, meaning that it's got a lot of UV protection and it's made of what they call their crystal view glass. So it's a super, super high density, high clarity glass. You'll find when you're diving, a lot of the light gets refracted through the lens as it comes into your eyes. And until you've used this mask, it's difficult to, to see for yourself or to justify it. But there's a lot of haze and there's a lot of refraction of light when diving the normal mask. This all seems to be reduced. It takes a lot of the glare out of the water. Very, very similar, and I used the example earlier, to literally taking a high quality pair of sunglasses and popping it on your face when you're driving on a hazy or really, really bright day. This really, really relieves the pressure on your eyes and brings a lot more clarity to the water, which I think is, a, I think is amazing. 
It also has uh, what they refer to as this AR or anti-reflective technology. So it's got a bit of a, you can see it as I move it in the studio light there, you can see that it does have some reflection on it or a tint and uh, that tends to refract or reflect some of the light away. It also it stops so much light getting inside the mask itself and just sharpens up all the images when you when you do go diving. I know some of the free dive masks and the other ranges, they've got tinted lenses so the fish can't see the eyes of the free divers or spiros as they swim down. In this instance, this is not for that case. This is specifically to reduce the glare in the, the water. You get what's referred to as HEV, H -E -V, high intensity light, which comes off the, the ocean and uh, reflects down in those first few meters of water. So if you've been swimming around in those really shallow sections, you get those beams of light coming down. There's a lot of glare on them. This will reduce all of that. So it just brings a lot more clarity. I think this is ideal for any diver, specifically those avid avid camera uh, people, those men and ladies that are out there spending hours looking for the little critters to go and take awesome uh, macro photos of, this mask would really lighten and clean things up and it just sharpens your eye to go and find those little critters when you're swimming around. From a professional level, dive masters and instructors, if you're not worrying about all that glare coming at you the whole time, it just crisps up that whole image and makes it much easier for you to see your group and your students. So overall, I think it's a really, really good mask. It is reflected in the price, this being one of the most expensive masks available on our website, but in this instance, you pay for what you get. The mask is super high quality, super high, uh, strong skirt at the side that should handle the pressures of swimming down really quickly with their Trimex frame, but the main technology coming in the lens itself, thereby reducing all that glare and making it a much clearer, cleaner dive when you're using it underwater. And I've on my face, it's just really, really cool. It's almost got like a greeny, browny haze when you pop it on, but that's just pulling all of that bright, bright UV light out. This, in this instance, is um, exacerbated by the fact we're in the studio light here, so when I pop it on, it really makes it sort of like a browny, yellowy, greeny color, but that's all that UV coming off the, the studio lights that it pulls out, but I can see it'll really crisp things up. So overall, I think this is a really, really cool mask, ideal for any serious or avid diver. It's the Tusa Paragon mask available from our website. So if you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out our social streams. The main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.ca.ca. We'll keep you up to date with all the cool things we've got going on, our amazing deals on our websites, as well as our trips and travels all over the world. So that's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.